A solemn procession in San Jose tonight as a community activist is remembered by friends, family, and followers. The woman was struck and killed by a car last night as she crossed Little Orchard Street near the Plant Shopping Center. She was leading a religious procession at the time, and tonight community members continued with the procession in her memory. KTV South Bay reporter LaMonica Peters live in San Jose right near the intersection where Maria Marcello died. LaMonica. Mike, some flowers have already been placed here at this intersection. And as you mentioned, the procession started at the health center where Maria Marcello worked. And people told us that she was really dedicated to caring for this community. And they just wanted to honor her in the best way that they could. Honestly, it doesn't feel real yet. Um, I think all of us were in shock. It's honestly way too soon for her. Dozens of Maria Marcello's family, friends, and supporters gathered at Healing Grove Health Center, where she worked for the last three years as the community engagement director. The center focuses on a holistic approach to health and wellness. If anyone has any problem, they go to Maria. And that includes me. I mean, she was one of my best friends. And if any, I had a, if ever I had a problem that I didn't know how to solve, I would call Maria and say, "Hey, what what should I do?" And Maria would figure it out. 47-year-old Marcello was hit by a car and killed at Paramount Avenue and Little Orchard near the Plant Shopping Center Wednesday night. She was leading a religious procession as part of the Virgin Wakila and Huacan Christmas time tradition. Tonight is the Virgen of Huquila, the final day. Um, this one she was really excited about. It's the Oaxacan Virgen, and she um, really especially loved everything Oaxacan. San Jose police say Marcelo died at the scene, and the driver of the car is cooperating with their investigation. Ooh, Maria Marcelo was everything to her community. Um, she was the one that made sure that all the kids in her community had shoes when we were growing up. She made sure that all the kids had uniforms for school. She really cared about education, especially especially among young girls. As those who came out to honor her life quietly grieved, Perez says the memories of Marcelo helped to soften the blow of losing her. You smile when you think about her. Why yeah. is that? I mean, how could you not smile thinking about Maria? She, she's the type of person that would come in at like 6 a.m. with a smile ready to go. Dr. Bymaster says that they will have a final gathering Friday night at Sacred Heart Church, and they're asking everybody to, who attends to wear purple because that was Marcelo's favorite color. The health center where she works is also starting a memorial fund in her honor. Mike? A nice gesture to have that procession held tonight, uh, but just a tragic loss for her family and for that tight-knit community there in the South Bay. LaMonica, thank you.